Cheers, darlings! This is Metatad here, and we're back in Undertale. Last time we had a little bit of difficulties trying to get things going through. A little bit of problems with the stream, which now hopefully seems to be a lot better. We'll see how well that truly works. And we're gonna redo some of the stuff that we tried to do last week because of all the problems we were having. So, it's time for our sexy date with Papyrus. Let's see what he's up to there. Yeah, get all the way back over there to him. Perhaps I should have actually taken the little subway thing. Might have actually made things a little bit faster than this. Okay. Ah, there we go. Hey there, Papyrus. So, you came back to have a date with me. Mm, you must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Okay. Oh. And we're off. Da -da 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 Okay. Well, that was a long way to go that way instead of this way. My house! Okay. Well, that works. Oh. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Scenic My House! Enjoy and take your time! Hold on. I feel like I'm not quite getting those right notes from him. Enjoy and take your time! That's a little bit better, I think. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. And you look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Yes, uh, probably best to do that before we have any problems. Oh! It's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It is unusually... It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. And let's see. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Please pick up your socks! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you say not to bring it back to my room? Ah, forget it! Ah, uh, I gotta love those two. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Okay. This is my brother's pet rock. He is always forgetting to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Okay, and... Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Now I can fit up more bones under it! Take a look-see! A doggy. What?! Catch that meddling canine! Oh. Didn't manage to catch it. Sorry, darling. Curses! Womp, 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 indeed. Sands! Stop flanking my life with incidental music! Ugh. <laughs> so look at this picture. A classic image! It always reminds me of what's important in life. Okay. Uh... Hello? Knock, knock. The door is locked. Okay, then. Well, let's go this way, I guess, instead. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Uh, go inside? Yes. How about that? Okay, uh, what do we got here? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? So you chainsawed it. Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Yep, definitely, uh, did. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Yeah, yeah, in order to be able to cruise down a highway like that, you have to have skin and hair. Yeah, kind of important things, I think. Ah, yes, action figures! 
A great reference for the theoretical battle scenario! How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people! Uh, darling, I don't know that that's the best place to be getting those from. Yeah, that's right! Santa! Oh, okay, darling, I guess that's a little bit better. Uh, let's check this. That book's one of my favorites! Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds! That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny! The ending always gets me! Okay. The Internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. There are no skeletons in my closet. Except me, sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Let's see what we have. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay, well that's good. Let's check this out. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes, let's go ahead and begin that. Okay, dating start! Of course, the whole thing here is to add voice acting to it. That's where the fun comes in. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! I snagged an official dating robot from the library! We're ready to have a great time! Uh, let's see... Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hut. Huh. Oh, I guess I gotta press that. Reel it in! Population... Crime. Wow, that's a... Egg! That, that's weird. Wowie! Now I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two... Ask them on a date. Ahem! <coughs> Human! I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Why, yes! Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three! Put on nice clothes to show you care! Hmm... Wait a second! Wear clothing! The bandage hanging off of you! You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that... Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You have wanted to date me from the very beginning? Oh, well, yes, darling, I have. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at the dating thing than I am! No, oh, date power! Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've busted me yet! I, the Great Papyrus! I, the Great Papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will! Well, I mean, when you start out with a record of zero and zero, I suppose that would be pretty easy, darling. I could easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Yeah! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! A genuine compliment! Ah!
However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you said is invalid. The state won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. What do you think is his secret, darlings? I know what it is already, but... Uh, how about we go here? Rub his bicep. Holding my hand, so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist! How about this bicep? I see, I see! You like caressing my bicep with a floating heart! But who doesn't? How about his shirt? How about if I poke his nose? Does he have a nose? Oh, I guess not. My hat! My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! It's a present! A present just for you! Open it! Do you know what this is? Of course. Of course I do, darling. It's spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh, so wrong. This ain't any old plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oak cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! No man! It's time to end this! There's no way this could go any further! Well, eat it! Oh, hold on, I gotta be on this one though. Eat it then! You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. It's so good, darlings. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! No! Ah! No! Dating power maximum. And many things are rising to the occasion there, too. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say! It's all been for my sake! Human! I want you to be happy, too! It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you! I, Papyrus! I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, oh, shoot. Human! I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me! A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? N no Wait! That's wrong! I can't feel at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be a tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no. That's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah! <laughs> Ah, there he goes, Papyrus. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> ah, there we go. I think everything should be fine now. I think uh, hopefully, hopefully it should be fine. 
<coughs> Anyways, darlings, now we gotta get going. Because now that we've had our sexy date with Papyrus, we need to go forth and do other fun things. Like, get out of here. Because that's the whole point of this game, isn't it? It's to get out of the underground. This is not the first time I've had weird French people follow me. What was the first time you had that happen? Uh, I don't really want to talk about it too much. I thought that a baguette was something to beat someone over the head with. I wasn't happy about that. I am the granddaughter of Great Chuckle Root. God, do all you trees talk slow as hell or something? This is my room. And may I say, how dare you enter a woman's room uninvited? More like just a tree stump. Yeah, I could turn you into kindling if I want to. 